Uh, working on a Cub Cadet LGT 1054. Uh, the customer brought it over. It would not start, but it cranked. It would not start though. Um, so I'm going to start by taking these bolts off to get better access to the carb. So there's the one right in the middle and two right in the sides. So go ahead, take these are two 10 millimeter nuts here, right on the, in the front of the carb. Disconnect that hose. Let that hang there. All right, so uh, next I'm gonna get this out of the way so that we can pull this out. And um, we should probably pinch it and zip tie it so that nothing is leaking out all over our floor. So get that way back Ooh, whole car want to come all right so we're it's pretty on there so we're gonna have to get a little screwdriver and or a little pick and, and try and get behind there in between the uh, the hose and the metal so if our pick uh, if our pick idea doesn't work we can try and I was told we we can try and wiggle it off with the needle nose pliers we've got so there's a bunch of bunch of gunk right there let's see if we can slip this in without rupturing the hose Village. It's all right though. As expected. So we're gonna pinch that up, just like so. We are spilling out a little bit, but here. Thank you. So what does gas off me? Yes, lean. All right. So, and we got that out of our way. We've got to get these disconnector or these little. Uh, I'll bring it over here. Uh, so. got to take these off but we got to make sure and I've taken a bunch of pictures to remember how all this goes back on if you don't do that you might be hurting so
So now we can get this one out. So that one slides out. But we should take apart these wire connections first. Man. Finagle a little, a little finesse and bam. Ooh. Looks like we got one more little connection here. This is the um, card out. You got all those little connectors in. And now, on to the next part. Yeah. Okay. And so if they don't, you can grab mine and with some pies or some crack them loose. Yep, they're coming loose. For sure. show you guys but uh, a lot of crud came out of there see that black stuff we um, sprayed everything down and uh, there was nothing supposed to be in here but obviously that's why it's not working Alright, so we're going to take these jets out. Right, this one here. There's one in there we're going to take out. Let me start with the one inside. Got that one pretty well. Good, we can slide that one back in. Go ahead and do this other one.
Tighten these back down. Now, and then we're good to put it back on. Put this clamp here, we moved earlier back over. Ah, don't do that. All right, so then we are on to this guy. We're gonna start these them in the right place. Now we can spin our two nuts back on. that is plastic so let's try and be careful when you do it don't wrench down because you'll break the plastic that should do her and then we can feel under uh, that the small hose goes up on that right there and then we can feel also that this hose that's under here goes directly on the other side, straight up. Um, now we can start with these. Now, with all the hoses attached back where they go, and uh, the carb pressed back and bolted in, nice and good, the only thing we have left to do now is to put the air filter back on the top here, which it'll go on um, just like this. And, uh, yeah, now we're going to uh, put the hood back on and try and start it, and yeah. We cleaned all the jets in the carbs. We, uh, checked everything up and down, cleaned the air filter out, uh, drained some gas out because there was some water in it, and now we are gonna see if she starts. The gas is on. 